America's author Mark Twain wrote about Lake Tahoe. As it lay there with the shadow of the mountains brilliantly photographed upon its still surface, I thought it must surely be the fairest picture the whole earth affords. Squaw Valley is defined by beautiful Lake Tahoe and the pure white snow that runs into it each springtime. The feathery white robe that engulfs the majestic Sierra Nevada, soaring granite mountains that reach high into the crystal blue California sky. It is a place steeped in history and majesty. What was once a sleeping mining region has been transformed throughout the years as if on cue there was an immediate synergy between skiing great Wayne Paulson and Alex Cushing in the 1940s. Voted North America's best ski resort in 2016, the Squaw Valley legacy has maintained a vibrant ski culture and mountain energy that spans from village to peak. Cushing's bid to host the 1960 Olympic Winter Games originally began as a plan to gain publicity for the resort. Squaw Valley, with only one chairlift and lodging for 50, became an Olympic host. The vision was to share the joy of bringing the world's athletes together with a return to simplicity. The games here set a new standard of excellence, a new gold standard. The alpine skiing community would return to Squaw Valley in 1969 for men's and women's World Cup slalom and giant slalom. America's Billy Kidd would win the men's slalom while Marilyn Cochran claimed the runner-up spot in the women's giant slalom. And now, the world's best skiers have once again assembled in Squaw Valley to battle for the coveted crystal globes that signify alpine skiing supremacy. As in the past, Red Dog will serve as the battleground and the victory will go to the swiftest. So buckle up for the ride of your life. The world has once again come to Squaw Valley.